Now, there's just something about using a warframe that summons big flaming turrets that set fire to and, of course, obliterate huge groups of enemies as well. Bring out the heavy artillery. Protea, there's no doubt about it, is an amazing warframe and some of the off-meta builds that you guys are using and suggested to me are absolutely great. But she was only used by 1.25% of the community for the entirety of last year, which is just slightly more than Nova and Chroma Prime, which I kind of feel like she should be a lot higher. Now, the perfect warframe exists. If we are to continue on with this series of just fun recommendations by you guys, away from the dullness that is the shield gating meta, Protea is next in line for a video. So Protea's meta revolves around subsuming either Larva or Ensnare onto her kit and grouping large groups of enemies together and letting her turrets spawn them down. Since the turrets have such a short duration, you're going to want to hit as many enemies with them as you possibly can. So outside of her meta, I guess means ignoring both of those abilities and subsuming something else on to her kit but you could still use a weapon or I guess a Tenno Arcane to group them if you wanted to, they just won't be as effective. Now, some of you recommended a slow tier with Gloom instead of her Temporal Anchor, which is one setup that a lot of players in general within the Warframe community use. On all of our Warframes, Gloom is heavily subsumed, which is a shame because the Warframe that uses it barely gets used himself. And some of you recommended Octavia's Rolling Disco Ball. Some of you recommended Grendel's Nourish or even Ember's Fire Blast, since you should already Already be using Archon Vitality to double dip those heat procs. All really good subsumed abilities in use right now with a lot of Protea builds within the Warframe community. Octavia's Rollerball kind of surprised me with how distracting it was and I find it kind of weird that I'm surprised that it actually did its job. I also decided to use the Kuva Ogress with the Rolling Ball setup for more heat procs around the map and just burning anything that got near them with napalm shots equipped as well, which is definitely a fun setup to run with. But in the end, I settled on using Terrify from Necros as the ability that I was going to subsume onto my Protea in order to strip enemies armor by 100% and then slow them down by 80% with its creeping Terrify augment. There's no denying the Terrify right now is probably one of the best abilities to subsume onto a lot of our Warframes. On top of that, instead of running with the Kuva Ogress, which I really wanted to use, I decided to use the Proboscis Cernos instead. An innate bleed and explosive viral bow, equipped with the internal bleeding mod for more bleeds in order to bleed them some more and also explode them for good measure. Throw in Protea's turrets into the mix and her never-ending supply of health, energy and ammo and it was a really, really fun setup. Is it as effective as grouping them and using turrets? No, of course it's not. Also, I forgot to equip any kind of sure-footed mod, so I got staggered a lot. So don't be like me. Equip one of them if you can, or if you're going to run with the Kuv Ogres, maybe equip Cautious Shot instead in order to stop that knockback. But modding for power strength, range, and some duration is what you're after. Efficiency isn't really an issue since you are going to be getting lots and lots of energy orbs. Um, Creeping Terrify is a personal preference as well. You could drop it out for stretch and gain 7 meters on that Terrify and still strip 100% of their armor you just won't have that 80% slow but I just really like the slowdown on top of that armor stripping however feel free to share your perfect frame non-meta setup in the comment section below I will try my best to get around to as many of them as I possibly can in the next few months and apologies if I missed yours in the last two videos have a great day and as always thanks for watching I've been giving you the worst.